Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from Lightsail VR. In this video, we're going to be talking about using packaged EXE files with Assimilate Live Effects for virtual production. Essentially, you don't even have to have Unreal Engine installed on your machine. And the way I have prepped this uh, project, I have basically built it to a game. So you basically end up with a EXE file that looks like this, and you double click it, and within about 10 seconds, you can be up and running with virtual production. And depending on what you set up in the scene, you can change these things uh, as well. So here I can change the time of day to be, you know, whatever I want to do. I can also change the cloud coverage if I want it to be clear. I can just put zero, point, point 0.2 to have it somewhat cloudy, point 0.5 for a little more clouds. Maybe go to 2 to be fully overcast. So it's, a, it's, it's really great for demos and for proof of concepts. Uh, for me, it's it's really about demos. It's about, hey, I don't want to uh, walk into a studio and have to set everything up from scratch. Let me just bring in this EXE file. doesn't matter if they have Unreal 5.3 installed or not. I just open up this project and I can get straight to work. And then you can also see here in Live Effects, if I had camera tracking set up right now, I could move physically move the camera around. Um, and this basically shows you I can move around the scene here. I can pan and I can tilt, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to show you the basics of working with a packaged project. And there is a demo scene that I, this scene right here I'll give away. You can, you can use it for whatever you want to use it for, and you can use it to test out. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing crazy, but, um, but it's, it's uh, good to test things out and to try it for yourself. So the first step is to create a project. You can go to New and then set your project settings and your name and all that sort of stuff. The project settings are important. So if you're if you're using an LED wall, you're going to want to set your resolution to be um, whatever that resolution is. In this case, I'm just using, using my monitor. I'll just use 1920 by 1080. You can set your frame rate here as well. You can change these later, but it's good to just start the project fresh um, with that correct. So now um, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Utilities, Filler, and you can use any of these. I'm going to use black. And I'll just bring it onto my timeline here. In fact, I'll just open a new timeline. <clears throat> Filler, black, enter here. I'm going to double click to go into my project here. And then I'm going to go down to plugins. Under this live effects, there's this Unreal Texture Share. So I'm going to go ahead and apply on layer. And I'm going to go ahead and quit out of the Unreal Engine uh, package project. So I'm going to do Control Alt Delete. If you're using a package project, if you render off screen, this will make sense later. Uh, the only way to close it is through Task Manager. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So if you don't have it open, this is what it's going to look like. So I've added the texture share. Now I'm going to go to Live Effects, Live Links, and then down here I'm going to go to Unreal Live Link. Turn this on. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off for now. Uh, let me just do this. So when you turn this on, go to Broadcast and Connect. You should see numbers moving here. If you don't, um, there's a few things that could be that you might need to do. So the first thing you might need to do is you need to go to Camera and make sure there's an active camera. So that's always helpful. And the other thing you could do is you can, if you're using this on the same machine, you can actually just go 127.0.0.1. And sometimes you need broad, Broadcast on. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on now. You can download the Unreal Live Links uh, Live Effects plugin here to do to package your own projects. You don't need it for the EXE, but this is where you get to that. If you do have camera tracking, you can turn it on here. So let's say you have Moses, you can turn it on. And then the main thing here is that you'd want to apply your camera tracking to your camera. So make sure you press apply if you're using camera tracking. If you're not using camera tracking, it's fine. Um, I'm just going to go back down to here so we can keep this open, make sure this is working, and then back down here on the camera tab, make sure this is active, make sure you can change uh, some of these numbers here. So if you're using the demo that I'm providing here, you should have a folder structure that looks like this. It's Water Tower Demo 3, V3, Windows, and then you have a bunch of files here. You only really need to worry about this bhproject.exe and then these shortcuts. Shortcuts might not work, especially if you're on Windows 11. Sometimes it gets weird, so you have to create your own shortcuts. The reason we have these shortcuts is it allows us to pass command line arguments. So if I right-click on the shortcut and go to Properties, 
under this target, you can see at the end here, at the end of the file, which is, says, you know, dot something, 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 dot exe, there's one space and then there's a dash render off screen, which will, as you guessed it, render off screen. Then it's going to set the resolution to 1920 by 1080. And then these last two you have to have in to do the remote control stuff like I was doing earlier with the lighting. So it's okay if you don't have these. Um, you can follow my documentation uh, or you can copy these or, or you can just manually write them out. Uh, I'm just going to uh, copy these. Actually, I'll just go to my documentation here. You can, you can find this documentation and it has all the information you need to know that's I'm doing going over in this tutorial and you can go down here to adding command line arguments and you can see the same information so this is what I have put in the at the end of this shortcut so let's go ahead and create a, a shortcut from scratch so I'm gonna click on the exe I'm gonna right click go to create shortcut I like to give the shortcuts uh, names to let me know what they are so if I'm gonna render this off screen and then I'm gonna put off screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 and so that way I'll know that this one is rendering on screen this one's off screen right click properties go to the end of target one space and then I'm going to paste in all of these um, command line arguments so there's the force res 1920 by 1080 render off screen and then the web, web remote stuff so now I can press apply okay and now when I double click on this it's going to render off screen so what that means is if I press control alt delete task manager I should see it should either say unreal game or BH project and um, and that's how I know that the game is actually running and the only way to close this is to go into task manager right click in task so just it's worth repeating because you can accidentally open up a few of these and then your computer might be um, having a hard time to render that and do whatever the other tasks you need. So um, now if I go back to assimilate, you can see the Unreal scene is now in our viewport. And the last step here is to go to any browser and then go localhost colon 30,000, 30000 and that will give us our web remote. And this has a few different controls that allow you to do different things. Um, and basically this is just sort of as a, as a test example of some of the things you can do. So for instance, I can, if I just move the, the water tower, I can just get rid of it um, because yeah, maybe I don't want it. So where was it at, 50,000, something like that. So yeah, so you can move the water tower location, rotation, um, you can change the moon colors, you can change the fog, cloud coverage, and time of day. And a lot of this really just depends on what you set up in the Unreal Engine project. So there's a, you can really set up a lot through Web Remote. In this project, I just set up those certain things. So the last thing I talk about is the projection setup. So if you're going to do the projection setup, all you really need to do is go down to Live Capture under the Project Media and choose Unreal Texture Share and then set up your projection setting as normal. Okay, that's going to wrap up this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.